And then on the other hand, the authorities, the people of Lesbos, who believe their quality of life has suffered unduly because of all of this and they just want it to end. After five years and hundreds of thousands of migrants arriving on Lesbos and nearby islands, Greek frustration is turning violent as well. This UN facility was torched on Sunday night. Aid workers say they're now frequently targeted by angry locals because they're helping the migrants. There have been intimidating acts, violent acts against humanitarian workers, against refugees that are arriving on the shores, but also against journalists. We hear about a gathering on a dark, empty patch of land by the coast road where migrants walk to and from the camp. There we find a plainclothes police officer watching dozens of local people. Some carry sticks, cover their faces, and scream furiously at us not to come near them. Cars have been attacked. Yes, a lot of cars have been attacked. This man, who only gives his name as Tony and insists on staying hidden, tells us the meeting is for people who are worried about the situation on the island. I mean the violence against the NGOs and the aid workers. Is that okay? I think it's not. But you know some We're all humans. You know some people do it? So maybe some people do. There is tension everywhere on Lesbos, among Greeks who feel abandoned and trapped in an endless crisis they didn't create. And with the many migrants living in squalor, hopelessly watching ferries come and go every day. All want the same thing, a chance at a better future. Bill Black, CNN, on the Greek island of Lesbos.